Dear students, good morning. Let's start our what anatomy lecture topic today infectious viral disease. Infectious viral disease. <coughs> Plan our lecture. Uh, general characteristics of infection uh, disease, infection process. Uh, acute respiratory viral infections group disease. Acute uh, respiratory viral infections, measles, next disease, chickenpox, variacella, and uh, esquired, um, about esquired uh, immune deficiency syndrome, uh, we will talk um, on the next lecture. General characteristics, infection, infection, infection process, uh, this is biological phenomenon, biological phenomenon whose uh, essence is the introduction and reproduction of infection agents in the human body uh, with development of various form of interaction, various form of interaction uh, from asymptomatic interaction before disease and uh, clinical manifestations of this disease. Infection disease is a complex of pathological change and reactions. Complex pathological change and reactions to the introduc introduction and reproductions of pathogens. Introduction and reproductions of pathogens. Effects on the body. All pathogens. Um, effects on the body. Cytolytic effect. Cytolytic effect. Inflammation reaction. Inflammation. Release of endo and exotoxins. Release of endo and exotoxins. And induction of allergies, autoimmune reactions, and Im immunosuppression. Induction of allergies, autoimmune reactions, and immunosuppression. Morphological manifestations, general morphological manifestations, stereotyped manifestations on the body. Mm. There are hyperplasia of lymph nodes and spleen. Effects, pathological effects on the organ uh, immunogenesis. Hyperplasia of lymph nodes and spleen. Vascular damage. Vascular damage. Next, dystrophy of parenchymal organs. Dystrophy of parenchymal organs and interstitial inflammation. Interstitial inflammation. Next uh, manifestations uh, we can uh, divide into local and general. Local change uh, include a peer primary um, infectious complex, primary infectious infectious complex where primary effect or focus primary effect lymphangitis and lymphadenitis primary effect lymphangitis and lymphadenitis this is local change and general change in the body formation systemic inflammatory response syndrome Systemic inflammatory response syndrome. Classification of infection disease according etiological uh, types. We have viral infections, bacterial infections, mycoplasma, rickettsial infections, fungal, protozoa and parasitic infections. According etiological form. Etiological types. Mixed form, different form.
bad ways of transmission of infections agents. Bad ways. Uh, maybe uh, next bad ways. Contact household. Contact household. Uh, airborne and dust bad ways. Aerosol. Airborne and dust. Next mechanism or pathways, fecal oral, fecal oral, by use food or water, sexual pathways, parenteral, transplacental, and transmissive. Next, periods in the development of infection disease. Periods. We have incubation period. Incubation period. Next, prodromal period. Prodromal. Prodromal period. Next period of the main uh, manifestation, period of the main clinical manifestations, and uh, finally period of uh, convalescence. Convalescence. Uh, period of uh, incubation. Period of incubation. Uh, this is time uh, between acquiring uh, infection. And appearance of the first symptoms, signs, time between acquiring infection and appearance of first symptoms of signs. In prodromal period, in prodromal period, um, appear um, first signs, symptoms, but um, these symptoms non-specific, non-specific. Uh, in period of the main manifestations, uh, this is period of illness, illness, period of illness, a pair of specific symptoms, specific symptoms. And uh, next, final of disease, final, maybe favorable uh, outcome in the period of convalescence and unfavorable outcome, maybe death. Let's talk about respiratory infections. Respiratory infections uh, are a group of acute inflammatory disease. Group of acute inflammatory disease uh, with a damage of different respiratory organs and tissue. Acute inflammatory disease group with the damage of different respiratory organs and tissue. Common features, common features in respiratory infections include um, airborne mechanism, airborne pathways mechanism, a local change combined with common manifestations local change combined with common manifestations next tendency to epidemics tendency to epidemics and high incidence of disease high incidence of disease regardless of age and gender High incidence. Among these group disease, the most important are the most important. Next is this. influenza, influenza, para influenza, adenovirus, and respiratory syncytial infection. 
Influenza. Influenza. Uh, this is acute, highly contaminated, airborne viral infection. Acute, highly contaminated, airborne viral infection. With symptoms of intoxication. With symptoms of intoxication. And primarily lesions of the respiratory tract. Symptoms intoxication uh, and primary lesions of the respiratory tract. Etiological factors for influenza RNA viruses. <coughs> RNA viruses of the Orta Mixiviridae family. Orta Mixiviridae family. This virus. This virus have tropic to airway epithelium, tropic to airway epithelium. By use uh, receptor specific receptor capsids, capsids fix virus on the surface of the epithelial cells. Virus fix on the surface of the epithelial cells. Uh, there are three serological types of influenza virus, ABC type, structure of influenza viruses, effect of a virus on the body, effect, pathological effect. Uh, cytopathic, vasopathic, and immunosuppressive effect. Cytopathic, cytopathic effect. Uh, this is dystrophy and necrosis of the airway epithelium. Cytopathic dystrophy and necrosis of the airway epithelium. Next effect, vasopathic, vasopathic or vasoporolytic effect, include uh, plethora, plethora, stasis, stasis, hemorrhage and edema, plethora, stasis, hemorrhage and edema, vasoporolytic effect. And immunosuppressive effect. Immunosuppressive effect. This is a result of inhibitions of the phagocytic um, activity. Inhibition of the phagocytic activity of neutrophil and macrophage. Inhibitions decrease. Uh, phagocytic activity of neutrophils and macrophages. And next pathological effect uh, neuroporolytic. Neuroporolytic effect damage over different structure in the central and peripheral uh, nervous system. Neuroporolytic effect. Next questions about pathomorphological change. Pathomorphological change. Pathomorphological change uh, depends on the form of influenza. There are three form of influenza. Uh, there are mild, medium, and severe form. Mild, medium, and severe form. Characteristics: mild form, mild form, formation acute serous, acute serous or mucous catarrhal inflammation, acute serous or mucous 
catarrhal inflammation with localizations in upper respiratory tract, only upper respiratory tract. Formation rhino laringa tracheal bronchitis. Rhino laringa tracheal bronchitis. Inflammation in the upper respiratory tract in mild form. In medium form, medium form, formation serous or serous hemorrhagic inflammation or fibrinous hemorrhagic inflammation. Maybe serous, maybe hemorrhagic, maybe fibrinous inflammation, maybe mixed form inflammation. Defect of a small bronchus and lung parenchyma in medial form, pathological effect, pathological reaction and manifestation with localizations in small bronchi and lung parenchyma. Formation laryngotracheal bronchitis and pneumonia. And severe form, severe form has two variants. In severe form, two variants. Toxic form, toxic form of influenza, and influenza with pulmonary complications. Toxic form and form with pulmonary complications. This is severe form. Morphological manifestations change in the lung associated with uh, mild and um, severe form of influenza. Macroscopic picture. Lung enlarged in size. Lung enlarged in size. And on the section has a motley appearance. Motley appearance. What's why name this pathology large variated influenza lung. Large variated influenza lung. Uh, appear a uh, different focus, different by color focus. Red focus. This is zone of gemorrhage, red focus. Red focus, gemorrhage, combined, combined with focus of blue color, blue color, focus of uh, atelectasis, compaction of the lung tissue, atelectasis zone, grayish yellow color zone, grayish yellow color. Associated with fibrinous purulent pneumonia and formation exudate. Fibrinous exudate or purulent exudate, maybe. You can see on the surface purulent exudate in here zone. And uh, focus of emphysema. Whitish, uh, whitish focus, emphysema. And microscopically in the lung uh, formation next picture gistological picture um, fibrinous you, uh, you can see fibrous uh, fibrinous pure land um, and necrotic inflammation fibrinous pure land inflammation or necrotic inflammation localization exudate, uh, exudate in the bronchus bronchus and alveola damage bronchus and alveola accumulations of exudate exudate um, in the lung tissue formation uh, focus of abscess purulent 
local purulent inflammation upstairs, small or large focus of upstairs, gemorrhage, focus of gemorrhage, gemorrhage, and atelectasis, gemorrhage and atelectasis. Complications. Let's talk about complications of influenza. Uh, complications associated with uh, lung damage. Associated with uh, lung uh, damage with pneumonia uh, include carnification, carnification. Next, purulent pleuritis. Purulent pleuritis. Uh, bronchoectasis, acute and chronic bronchoectasis, lung abscess, lung abscess, uh, purulent mediastinitis, purulent mediastinitis, next pneumosclerosis, pneumosclerosis, and uh, chronic obstructive emphysema. Chronic obstructive emphysema. This is lung complication. Uh, the most dangerous complication and um, causes for deaf patients uh, were infection toxic shock, infection toxic shock due to sepsis, hemorrhage uh, in the vital organ. Gemorrhage in the vital organs and pulmonary edema. Pulmonary edema. Uh, and uh, general complication. General complication due to viremia. General complication due to viremia. Uh, include uh, dystrophic change in parenchymal organs. Dystrophic change in parenchymal organs, especially uh, on the heart. Dystrophic change uh, in parenchymal organs. Vascular congestion. Vascular congestion. Next, uh, interstitial inflammation interstitial inflammation, glomerulonephritis, glomerulonephritis, aseptic meningitis, aseptic meningitis, encephalitis, encephalitis, flu-like, Uh, dystrophic change of neur uh, neurons, dystrophic change of neurons, and thrombophlebitis. Thrombophlebitis. This is general complication due to viremia. Next disease: para influenza. Para influenza. Para influenza, this is influenza like acute respiratory viral infections. Influenza like acute respiratory viral infections uh, with primary lesion of the upper respiratory tract. primary lesions of the upper respiratory tract and moderate intoxication. Moderate intoxication. Theological factors. A pneumotropic RNA containing virus. Pneumotropic RNA containing virus. Para mixaviridae family. Paramyxaviridae family, pneumotropic RNA, RNA virus. 
talk to with virus as you can see pathomorphological change pathomorphological change uh, formation of uh, the main manifestations with a scatterol laryngotracheal bronchitis scatterol laryngotracheal bronchitis uh, and um, histological change proliferations of the epithelium of the mucous membrane of the trachea and bronchus proliferations of the epithelium of the mucous membrane of the, of the trachea and bronchi next uh, formations of pillow growths formations of pillow growths of dystrophically motivated epithelial cells formations of pillow growths of dystrophically motivated epithelial cells next vascular congestion vascular congestion and uh, focal lymphohistiocytic infiltration focal lymphohistiocytic infiltration next serous or serous mucus exudate formation serous or serous mucus exudate in the alveola and bronchus serous or serous mucus exudate and um, interstitial inflammation interstitial inflammation in the interalveolar septa interstitial inflammation in in the interalveolar septa complications of para influenza include adjoining a secondary infections secondary um, bacterial infections and formations of fails group fails group what does it mean fails group this is swelling over mucous membrane swelling over mucous membrane over larynx leading to asphyxia swelling or edema of a mucous membrane of a larynx leading to asphyxia you can see a uh, healthy normal conditions of the larynx and uh, due to group due to group narrowing airway um, and causes swollen mucous membrane swollen formation asphyxia reflex uh, edema reflex spasm and asphyxia this is about complications secondary infections and fails group next is this adenovirus infection adenovirus infection adenovirus infection acute respiratory disease acute respiratory disease characterized by lesions of the upper respiratory tract lesions of the upper respiratory tract conductiva conductiva and lymphoid tissue lymphoid tissue of the throat and pharynx lesions of the upper respiratory tract lesions conductiva and lesions of the lymphoid tissue of the throat and pharynx etiology adenoviruses adenoviruses dna dna contain adenoviride family adenoviride family this virus has a tropism for epithelial and lymphoid tissue Typism for epithelial and lymphoid tissue and possible generalization of infections. 
in epithelial uh, and uh, lymphoid tissue in the um, epithelial upper respiratory tract and lymphoid tissue uh, with this local change and possible generalization of uh, infection damage in intestine, kidney, liver, brain. Additions of the secondary infection. Addition of the secondary infection. Virus causes the cell death. Virus causes the cell death. Development of viremia. Development of viremia. Viremia. And overall toxicity. Toxicity. Overall toxicity. Due to viremia. Pata morphological change include two form depend but morphological picture different depend on the form disease in mild form in mild form formation uh, acute catural rena laringa tracheobronchitis acute catural Rina laringa tracheobronchitis, acute catural pharyngitis, acute catural pharyngitis, and acute catural conjunctivitis, acute catural conjunctivitis. Uh, in severe form, characteristics. Dystrophic process, dystrophic processes in internal organs, interstitial inflammation in parenchymal organs, interstitial inflammation in parenchymal organs. And secondary infection. Secondary infection. A necrotic type and separation. Secondary infection associated with separation and formation necrotic change in the internal organs. histological picture with adenovirus infection formations of adenoviral cells you can see in the slide in this photo here adenovirus adenoviral cells among the epithelium of the bronchi and in the lumen of the alveoli formations of adenoviral cells among the epithelium of the bronchi and the involume of the alveoli. Adenoviral cells characteristics. Nucleus are enlarged. Nucleus are enlarged. Enlarged due to intranuclear inclusions. Intranuclear inclusions. Nucleus hyperchromic. Nucleus hyperchromic. Hyperchromic. And in the periphery, formation zone of enlightenment. Enlightenment zone in periphery. Here zone. Enlightenment. And formation in the bronchus uh, and the alveolar formation exudate can undergo some time uh, for necrosis. Possible necrotic 
uh, necrotic complications. Complications and causes of death due to, adeno, uh, due to adenovirus infection. Complications and causes of death. Adenovirus pneumonia. Adenovirus pneumonia. Adenovirus pneumonia. Pulmonary complication due to the additions of bacterial infection. Pulmonary complication, complications due to the additions of bacterial infection. Uh, sinusitis, otitis, tonsillitis. These are secondary, secondary infections. Uh, for example, sinusitis, otitis, tonsillitis. Uh, lesions of internal organs, widespread lesions of internal organs, encephalitis, myocarditis, due to generalization of infection, lesions of internal organs. Uh, the students about uh, our disease, measles, um, chicken pox, and HIV infections. Let's talk about next lecture. Today our lecture is finished. Thank you for your present and goodbye. See you later.